Welcome to Job Study Lab YouTube channel. Hope you are doing very well in your studies. Today's lesson is a reviewing classic chemistry multiple choice exam questions for year 2021, part 2 of 3. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number 21. Which statements about strong acid are correct? A strong acid is an acid which is completely ionized in an aqua solution. Hydrogen chloride ionized completely into hydrogen ions and chloride ions in water, which is option number three. And if it is acid, they have a pH value of one. So the answer will be 2 and 3. Metal X react with non-metal Y to form an ionic compound with the formula X2Y. Which statement are correct? In the formation of compound, generally metals lose electron and non-metals gain electron. Group 1 in the periodic table represent the alkaline metal and this element lose only one electron in the chemical reaction. Group 2 in the periodic table represent the alkaline earth metal and this element lose two electron in the chemical reaction. Group 4 in the periodic group Group 6 in the periodic table represent the oxygen family and these non-metals gain two electrons in the chemical reaction. And group 7 in the periodic table represents the halogen group and these elements lose one electron in the chemical reaction. From the given chemical formula X to Y, Y gain two electrons from two X element and X donate one electron to Y element. So X belong to alkaline of group one and Y belong to oxygen family of group six of the periodic table. So the answer will be one and three. 23. The table gives some properties of group four elements which show or which row describe the properties of silicon in terms of silicon density and also boiling point. So the answer will be in 2.3 centimeter cube and the boiling point for silicon is 3 to 6 5 Celsius. The metal beryllium does not react with cold water. It reacts with hydrochloric acid but cannot be extracted from it or by using carbon. Where is beryllium placed in the reactivity series? So from A to D will be uh, most reactive to least reactive. And if you see copper will be least reactive than iron and iron least re reactive than zinc and zinc is Magnesium is the most reactive, so the answer will be A. Why is cryolite used in the extraction of aluminium from bauxite? So cryolite has a lower melting point than aluminium oxide and acts as a solvent to create an electrolyte mixture of molten cryolite and aluminium. So the answer for this will be B. So aluminium as a solvent, a chrolite is a solvent for aluminium oxide. Which statement about the use of metal are correct? Copper is used to make electric cable because copper is good conductor of electricity. And aluminium is used to make brass because aluminium is strong and hard. And um, iron is mixed with additive 
to make an alloy because it's used in chemical plant. So the answer will be 2 and 4. And number 27, which rule describes the reaction of magnesium hydroxide and magnesium oxide? Effect of heat on hydroxide, it will be for magnesium oxide. And when the consequences or effect of heating oxide with carbon, it will doesn't show any reaction. 28. The property of an element are listed. It's melted. The melting point is 3414 Celsius. And some of its compounds are catalysts. And it has variable oxidization state. And where is the element found? In the periodic table. So if the melting point is 3414 this is under category tungsten. Uh, this is the element is tungsten, and tungsten is actually fall under transition element. Petrol burn in a car engine to produce waste gases, which leave through the car exhaust. One of these waste gases is an oxide of nitrogen, which a statement describes how this oxide of nitrogen is formed. One of the very first internal combustion engines ran on a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen and the features an electric spark ignition mechanism. So in this, we would see that nitrogen will react with oxygen in the car engine. Which combination of chemical compound can be used to produce the fertilizer shown? N represent 21, P represent 16, and K represent N8. NPK fertilizers are fertilizers that contain nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which provide plants with essential nutrients. So in this case, the most suitable is NH4, 3PO4, and KL, KL, KCL. 31. Which process does not produce carbon dioxide? Photosynthesis use carbon dioxide and water to assemble carbohydrate molecule, usually glucose, and release oxygen into the air. And photosynthesis is the process by which plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to create oxygen and energy in the form of sugar. So the answer which process does not produce carbon dioxide would be process of photosynthesis. Which a substance is used as a bleach in the manufacture of paper? So, the chemical used are sulfate salt and with the essence of sulfur dioxide and caustic sodium and sodium sulfate. And the lignin of the wood is made soluble and the fiber separate as a whole fiber. Further, purification can be accomplished by bleaching. And this chemical is used as a bleaching making paper. So the answer will be sulfur dioxide. What is an industry use of calcium carbonate? So calcium carbonate is critical to the construction industry, both as a building material and its own right. Example, marble. And as an ingredient of cement, which is manufacturer of cement. It contribute to the making of mortar used in bonding brick, concrete block, stone, roofing, shingles, rubber compound, and tiles. So the answer for this will be C, manufacture of cement. Propane react, reacts with chlorine, which will show a condition required for this reaction and identify the type of reaction. It will be ultraviolet light and substitution type of reaction. The pie chart represents the composition of natural gas, which a sector represents methane. Natural gas is made up of a mixture of four naturally occurring gases, all of which have different molecular structures. And the mixture consists primarily of methane, which make up 70 to 90% of natural gas, along with methane, butane, and propane. So the answer would be D. D have actually a lot of uh, space or occupied by the natural gas, about 70 to 90 percent. Which statement describes the reaction between ethene and steam? 
refer to chapter reversible reaction, ethanol is manufactured by reacting ethane with the steam. And the reaction is reversible and the formation of the ethanol is exothermic. So the answer for this will be an additional reaction which produces ethanol as the only product. The formula of the hydrocarbon is CXHY. The equation for its complete combustion is shown as CXHY plus 8O2 to produce 5CO2 plus 6H2O. What are the value of X and Y? Refer to chapter chemical reaction combustion start with carbon and hydrogen compound and oxygen burning. CXHY plus O2 to produce CO2 plus H2O and C5H12 plus 8O2 to produce 5 CO2 plus 6 H2O. So the answer will be 5 and 12. The formula of an ester is CH3, CH2, CH2, COO, CH2, CH2, CH3, which acid and alcohol react together to make the ester. The answer will be Buta butanyol acid and propanol. And number 39, molecule 1 undergoes a process to make molecule 2. Which row describes the molecules and the process? is in the process of monomer and the process is called polymerization and this is polymer. The answer would be B. Refer to the chapter polymers. Polymers is a large molecule built up from smaller units called monomers. So monomers is a small reactive molecule that react and join together with itself or another molecule to form the repeated unit of polymer. So the answer would be which structure represent a protein. So the sequence of amino acid linked together to form a polypeptide chain and each amino acid is linked to the next amino acid through peptide bond created during the protein biosynthesis process. So this is a diagram similar to the answer for number number A. So with that being said, I wish you all the best in your study. Please subscribe to Jom Study Lab YouTube channel and follow me at Jom Study Lab Instagram. And customized notes are available at the Beacon page URL http beacons.ai slash Jom Study Lab. Or you can access the link through Instagram and click to Beacon page. And that's all for today. And see you later.